hi my dears welcome to my channel once again and here we are together and we are going to take a look at messages for you today so let's see what uh, cars have to tell you messages for you today so we are going to have for group number one wings all right this is your card Group number two, we are going to have <clears throat> play, okay, and group number three, you are going to have kinder spirits, great, so here you have group number one, group number two, group number three, take the time to choose the one that you're most drawn to, and we are going to be seeing each other in your re readings as usual all right see you there bye hi my dear group number one welcome to your reading so we have your wings all right so let us see what does it mean wings here with the little book that we have to inspire us to start the reading with so let's see wings for my dear group number one this is not in order so sometimes it's very difficult to find out the message but we are going to get there all right so we have oh my god literally i have to go through all of the pages all right wings here it goes what a wondrous gift our gentle creature has been given. They have spent so much time studying and caring for their delicate winged friends. Now they are rewarded with wings of their own. Wings to lift them into the air so they can snoop, soup and swirl with their butterfly friends. Knowing the life cycle of these antennae angels, has led them to do everything they can do to help. From planting, from planting milkweed and other plants, their caterpillar solves love. To provide, providing a safe haven with all the flowers they love. This one cre creature has made a difference. And what this creature doesn't realize yet is that wings that spontaneously sprouted from their own shoulders didn't actually come from the butterflies. Those wings grew from the beauty of their own soul. Wings are something we all have when we do those things for others out of nothing but kindness and love. We are developing our own wings. While we may not see them as easily as we see the own ones in this card, know that they are there. Do not think they are something others have. You are two steps less from spreading your own wings. Your actions are on target. To lift you high, higher, flutter your wings with your own soul. Be the beauty the, the world knows you to be. All right, so we have this beautiful card. And it's amazing because... It seems that it is like a gift from the universe. It's like you are receiving a gift from the universe. You, you have now something with you that you deserve it. You deserve it. Let's see more about this energy. Let's see what, what is this about, okay? So I'm going to take... What is this about? These wings that you do have now that you deserved because of what you went through all right this is something that is going is helping you is helping you now through um, your journey okay it's something that is with you that now is wise is wise okay that's what i I'm seeing here and for some of you 
you can be very good in supporting others and um there's you might have a gift of communication and helping others somehow supporting others or you have been supporting others for a while and now this is given uh, given to you so let us see more now you have support this might also be support from your guides and this is your present it's like you are entering in a new phase in your life where you are going to be really supported by your angels your spirit guides okay by your higher self it can be that it's time now it's time for you to finish here Maybe something that was draining your energy. You already went through everything that you had to went through. You already did everything that you had to, to do. Now it's time for you to receive from the universe. To be in an energy of a receiving mode. Because there is a new path for you. Uh, that reminds me a lot about this um, South no no Node in Virgo and uh, North Node node in Pisces where you need to be um, you need to let go of controlling of pro all of those it's not let go completely because it's always a balance but now it's opening opening up to be to receive to find beauty in life even to you know not to care as much with the uh, with the um, schedules and all of those things that Virgo really have really enjoys and is a way of controlling Pisces is about letting go of control and right here what I'm seeing is that and also because of this supporting others that is a lot about Virgo so maybe you have a lot of Virgo in your in your shards and uh, now it's time to follow a new path because now you are um, receiving the fruits of every everything that you worked um on this life okay so you're you're receiving from that so let's see quit let's see if we can know more about yeah there is a new direction waiting for you and i don't know why but i want to read about this card too so let us read about these directions and see what what is telling us here so i want you to see the card too so here are two creatures whose paths have crossed on this starry night. The crescent moon doesn't offer a lot of light. Oh, by the way, I think it's crescent moon uh, today, if I'm not mis mistaken. Doesn't offer a lot of light, but the stars lend their own glow. The barn owl has asked the gentle creature a question of direction. The gentle creature crouches down to listen closely. When someone asks for guidance, it is often good to know more about the individual. Does the owl wish to fly there as many would assume? Or is the owl planning to travel in short hops, remaining close to the gr ground? Once those matters are clarified, then directions can be given. In return, the owl offers the gentle creature answer to their own questions about the road ahead. Directions can be funny things. Some, sometimes they place us on the direct path, path, but often they offer us a chance to explore more. And that extra path can mean the difference between a destination and an adventure. What do you want when you ask for directions? Are you looking for to reach the end or to discover something new? So what I see here is that perhaps before you were stagnant, you were in a, in a very stagnant energy. And right now you are being offered with a new path to go where you can explore. You can really explore um, something new. Okay, and what is going to be presented. And then we have the night and then we have the mystery. So maybe what you did before is already is already done, is already you exhausted already that energy. And right now it's time it's time for novelty, it's time for new in your life. Okay. And this is actually a present. 
this is actually a present it's like life is telling you you can do this now it's time for you to do this because you are going to be supported okay so let us see more i'm going to take from this tarot and see what tarot has to tell us about this message for you today what tarot has to tell my dear group number one today okay let's tell this Okay, so this can, can be that you are going to be very supported in a financial way. So even if you we, you were thinking about quitting, this can even be about a job. This can even, this can be about, you know, just helping others or having this energy of always being caring for others. And right now there is, there is a need to care about yourself and, and here to go to explore new things because something that was already over. Uh, is asking you to move okay and you're going to be somehow supported so uh, if you are uh, questioning if you're going to have the money or something like that no I see that whatever is happening here this new direction that you are following that is going to uh, bring you a lot of uh, adventures is also going to bring you a lot of comfort in a financial way so let's see more. So what is this new path about? Okay, which one? Okay. Yeah, okay. So maybe it is about really pursuing here what you wish, uh, you know, in a material world. Um, but let us see more. What is this new path? Be more a go-getter, but in terms of uh, thinking more about yourself, this can also be that case. Thinking more about yourself, which when is in balance, is not something bad, okay? It's something that is actually very important, very essential for our lives. So let us see here, what is this new path about after this devil here? Okay. So, you know, what I see here is this new path might even be that you are going to uh, be feeling very attracted towards someone. And um, this can bring you a very interesting experience, new experience in love. So it's like, allow yourself, allow yourself to receive, allow yourself to be uh, a bit more uh a little bit more uh how can i say this thinking about yourself more okay thinking about your uh what you want to achieve in life and i believe that you are going to go through many adventures and Terry is telling you there is something new in love here appearing for you yes completely Maybe you are going to need to make a choice here. And this choice can even be to pursue this, to kind of give it a go, give it a chance. All right. So it's like, this is a gift for you, you know, a gift of exploration, a gift of being able right now to do something different than you did before. And then um, be careful with this energy of giving, giving, giving and not receiving. The cards are telling you here precisely that now is time to receive. Now is time to receive the fruits of your work. Of by work, it can be all your experience. You were a giver, you were someone that helped others. And right now, what is happening here is time for you. It's time to think more about you, it's time to think more about your finances, to think more about your future. And in the meantime, it's not just going to be that, you know, that end point, but you are going to be finding someone here that you are going to make here a choice about being with this person. And this is part of these new directions. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let us see more about this person. Seven of Swords in reverse. All right. 
so it's good that I there I wanted to see more about this person because it might help me to clarify here this reading okay so it might be that we're talking here uh, about you know a relationship for some of you and it was a relationship where you gave a lot and this person um was really kind of you know not appreciating it and giving up easily uh giving up easily on on something but you anyway anyway you were being supported and you were being advised to go in a new direction there is new things here for you because you deserve it and the, the cards are telling you you now deserve there is something already with you you might not see it remember in the message you might not see it already doesn't mean it's not there okay so but for that you also need to believe that is there because there's something new approaching you it's just that this energy of um, maybe the choice here uh, in order for you to maintain the stability you are going to be needing to make here a choice and to be the winner be the the winner of your life something new someone new appearing towards my group number one Cards are telling me first you need to win this battle. It's like by battle, this can even be in, be just you know going to the new a new direction. Something is is not giving anything. Is not you're not taking anything from here anymore. Okay, so you're being supported. You know, a cards are telling you that you are being supported right now to create to move towards your stability. And believe that you are supported. Believe that you are going to have everything. The stability that you need to do this. Because there are new directions here for you. But first, this needs to go away. This energy needs to go away. So what is this choice? What is this choice that you are going to be making? What is this choice that you will need to make? Maybe maybe there's something new that also needs to be created in your life in terms of, of passion and in terms of stability. Um, okay, but at the what cards are telling you is that you need to feel that you are supported because that is your blessing. Those wings are there. So remind yourself that you can fly. You can fly. You are supported. And um, because it might be that you need to create something new in your life. In these new directions. So it's going to be really exploring. Really exploring something unknown here. Okay. And it might be that you really need to stop communication here or avoid communication with this past with this past relationship with this past connection and start seeing your life in a new way so in what way out of fears out of fears Believe in yourself. Believe that you are the winner, like we saw there. You need to integrate that that energy of being a winner, a winner in your life. Okay, so what's coming next for you? Be careful with arguments. Okay, be careful with battle, unnecessary battles with this person.
getting out of this suffering. And there's something here that is really telling you that is, you don't need to stay here anymore. You don't need to stay in this energy and, anymore. You deserve, cards are telling you precisely, you deserve so much more. You deserve so much more. So first you need to integrate that uh, spirit of a winner so that your true soulmate is going to come. Okay. First, you need to be winning over this situation, forgetting completely, removing from. You only will stop attracting this energy when you stop thinking about this person or this past connection or this past hurt. So do whatever you need to do. Sometimes it's very difficult, but do what it takes. Uh, for example, uh, exercises, uh, meditation, exercises with a med uh, meditation. Um, try to change your thoughts immediately. For example, when one uh, one thought like this, like uh, about your past, come change immediately, so that your brain gets used to novelty to new things so that you can change your vibration okay it's an exercise that you can do with your mind when you catch yourself thinking about the past change immediately change immediately to a new frequency because there's something here entering on life once you once you change this vibration okay of this past that is not yours anymore and now you have wings to fly it's like uh, life is giving you the wings that you need to fly all right, so I'm going to stop your reading here. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Let me know in the comments, please. And press like, subscribe. We're going to see each other next time. Bye. Hi, my dears. Welcome to your reading. So here we have a card, play. Okay, so play. Let's take a look at what it says here for you. So we have, look at these happy, young, gentle creatures. They are being pulled uh, by an adult, a butterfly keeps landing on their noses. Shrieks of laughter spread joy as they go willing into the meadow. Now is not a time for work or hard things, but put down your implements of work. Follow the young ones. Let them lead the way for you. It is in this moment that you need to play. Move your body. Aim your heart for the playground you miss. Do not allow anyone to tell you that you are being responsible when you take a moment to sink yourself into the mindset of a child. Play is, an important, is as important as work. No dull jacks here, please. Freshen your outlook by jumping in puddles, swinging on tires or napping under a tree. Maybe you can get outside. Not to worry. These young ones will remind you that building a blanket fort is ageless. Having marshmallows and graham crackers are tasting inside as outside. Swing your arms. Do whatever you can to open yourself up to playful spirit. By doing this, you will find the answers that have been evading you. They are like butterflies landing on your nose, a tickling nudge. You know the questions can be resolved. The naughty problems will unwind. Once you get out of your own way, all things will get better. So let loose and frolic, friend. All right, so we can see here that now it's time for play. We can see here now it's time for you to let this door open to experience your inner child. Okay, so remember to open this door every day. It's like programming. What am I going to do today to feed my inner child? And this can be watching, uh, you know, like cartoons that you used to watch when you were a child. And it was funny and it's still funny. I don't know if you ever tried to do that, but um, uh, it's still funny to... to go back to those i remember that i used to love a cartoon that was a uh, sailor moon and uh in the other day i just took um 
I just uh, went back to one. I saw something on YouTube and I remind remind myself of that. And then I I watch it and it was so funny and it was really funny. And um, it's nice to remember. It's it's nice to feel that inner child alive inside ourselves. Uh, you know, try something new. You know, when you are a child and you are always looking for new experiences, new tastes. For example, go to to buy ice cream, but try something new. Try something that uh, is something different than you used to do. Okay. Uh, I don't know, fun things. There are so many fun things that you can try to do in your life and uh, bring it to your life. Watch comedy, for example. Uh, laugh, laugh. When you are ad- we are adults, we have so many things in our lives that sometimes we even forget to laugh. And uh, don't forget to laugh. That's very important. So bringing that towards you, that's, that's very interesting. So this is uh, your message for now. So let us see more. Let's see if we have more here from cards. So, message for my dear group two. Okay, maybe there is someone special for you to meet. Maybe there, uh, you are going to be meeting uh, new people. Uh, this can even be online for some of you. Okay, but this can even be what is being new here what you are going to be doing in a new way uh, finding new people to talk about probably about something or some things that are very peculiar about you they're okay okay so let us see more and group number two message from my dear group number two and i saw here call oh my god look we have family yes so it seems that you are going to be here and the card from the next group kindred spirits just fell i believe that you are going to be finding people that you are going to be uh very be able to be very playful with they have a lot of common uh in common with you this could be through internet a group something like this and this is going to to be people that are going to go through the same things that you are going through or you are going to share something there's something here in common it will feel like family okay let us see more what cars has to sell you so message for my group number two okay let's see okay what is this so for some of you, maybe you're going to meet people that, okay, maybe you are going to, to, to be meeting someone that was part of your group or something like this. Um, and it will, maybe this, this person or these people are, maybe it's something about your inner child search. Or bringing your inner child to the present. Maybe you're going to be remembering about someone in specific, about a group of people that you used to be, uh, that you used to play when you were a child, or it was to be used to be very fun and you were very close. And maybe right now you can meet them online, or you can look for them online. Let's see what Tara has to tell us. Message for my dear group number two. that you need to move away from a situation and this is going to be helping you for you to do this it can be that you are moving away for something that was very difficult for you and this will help you to heal uh, and will bring you new energy in your life Okay, clarify this, please.
probably even, um, you know, it can be that you were worried too much about uh, things of day-to-day -day world, you know, um, more, um, probably more than one task that you had to do, uh, something like that, or you have more than one problem or something like that. And now it's, it's time to stop this. Stop this. It's now time to uh, use your mind to profit from life. Use your mind to profit from life. It's, it's, there is a new cycle here. New cycle. And this new cycle is for you to enjoy more your life. For you to leave this heaviness behind. Uh, juggling things. Now it's time to stop. It's time to use your mind to, to bring this old and familiar sense of belonging, of being playful, or of being childlike towards your life. So, what is this situation about? Interesting. Oh. Yeah. As I said before, this can be about you juggling many things at the same time. Maybe thinking too much about uh, work, about money, and forgetting to be playful with life, to bring playfulness to, towards, towards your life. Forgetting your fire, forgetting to explore new things. And now cards are telling, time for that. Time to, to finish a cycle, cycle of suffering. This could be even something that you are, because of your circumstances, okay? <laughs> a new phase is approaching you. A new phase is approaching you. And it's this phase where you're going to be feeling much more connected with life, where you are going to be integrating your um, fun in your life, okay? And pay attention to your inner child because your inner child is wanting to talk with you, okay? So don't let life pass you by uh, without paying attention to the most sensitive and... Um, fragile and beautiful part of you pay attention because it needs nurture it's, it needs you to be there hold your own inner child hand okay and uh end this period where there is just one thing in your life uh thinking about just material Okay, and remember of nurturing yourself, finding time for, for fun in your life, finding time to reunite perhaps with some people from the past that really uh, connected with you in a, in a deep way and that you had a lot of fun. And right now, perhaps through internet, you can find them. There is something about you having something in common with these people Okay, you having something common in common with these people. Okay, something particular, particular. And it might be from the beginning of your life. This can be, for example, people from that you used to know in school or something like that. Number two can be important here. Okay, maybe two friends, two people in specific. Uh, letter A. Maybe you need to plan this. Okay, there is a, a sense of you planning to do this. Maybe uh, finding an afternoon and start searching on internet for these people that perhaps you lost contact with. Okay. There's something here about the past that is going to bring you more fun in your life that you are going to be exploring much more. This side of you. 
This can be even you remembering, you having memories and bringing to your life with your connections. Like I told you before, the example I gave you, uh, how I used to watch that that show and uh, I came across it and went to watch it again and kind of felt like when I was, uh, I remembered the feelings when I was a child. So it might be something like that, you bringing towards you um, from the past. Uh, maybe it's you to connect. Your inner child is asking you for you to remember. You to remember. This is very essential for you right now. Remember your inner child. Remember. Okay. So I hope I delivered this message. This is what I'm seeing right here. Um, and let me know in the comments if this made sense. And I hope it did. And we are going to see each other next time. Bye. Hi, my dear group three. Welcome to your reading. Let's take a look at what we have here. So we have kindred spirits. When is the last time you had a, a cuppa with a friend? Tea, coffee, water, it doesn't matter. What is in the cup? The gift lies in the holder of the handle. That is the true joy of the moment. Whether you gather to remember a friend, a moment, or to plan a new adventure, make time to chat. This isn't a deep discussion between our two, our two here. She stopped by an whim. They've shared their beverage with her. This spontaneous moment in a field is a gift they share. Rather than check the time, they gaze into each other's eyes. This is intimacy that cannot be forced or manuf manufactured. No one is judging them or how they look or what they chose to talk about. You are being shown how to anchor yourself in this moment. If you don't have a convenient middle to wander in, reach out to someone, perhaps call that friend you haven't spoken to in a while. Maybe it will be someone you see every day. Whomever it is, give yourself the present of being present. You might speak to a stranger just to tell them you like their hat, their smile, their, their shoelaces. Isn't it lovely when we can take a break to have a, a chat with another person? Do that today. All right. So this is what I'm seeing here is that cards are asking you to be more present and um, to, uh, you know, look around and see who are your kindred spirits. I believe that or you are going to be sharing something important with them, moments and or making the moment a very important, appreciating each each time, uh, each each sound, uh, each um, second with the person uh, that is in front of you, your friend, your kindred spirit. Okay. Or you are really going to be finding out these people and cards are telling or are telling you to start today trying to find these people around you or creating new friends, creating new uh, relationships in your life. So let's see more what we have here. Message for my dear group number three. one cosmos i believe someone important is going to be appearing in your life okay that you are going to be or you already have someone in your life that you have a very very deep and um spiritual connection you feel yeah there is a need to talk with someone i believe that you need to talk with someone about something you need those times you need the time to connect there is, there is a feeling of needing to connect with others, needing a pause. And it's interesting because in the first message, we also had that sense of pausing and uh, be, being present. Maybe there is also a need for you to, uh, you know, put away your mobile or be more present in what you're doing. Be more present uh, with the people that you have in front of you. Okay, with the people that you feel very special, that are very special, that you have a special connection, that you are um, uh, 
you know you know what i mean so there's some more message from my dear group number three and i saw one card here yeah maybe you were kind of feeling a bit lost in life you maybe you were feeling that um even that people that are surrounding you are not the ones that you can share these moments now there are here two situations or you there is there is a need here to transform okay to transform something and find out here people that you can open up yourself to okay that you can talk and be present and that people can you see how they are together here but you know they're kind of their backs they are giving backs to each other so they are not even paying attention to each other's like they are each one in their own world and thinking about their own problems and they are not even paying attention but there is one here that is feeling that transformation needs to come and i believe this is you there are a lot of emotions here going on and um, now it's time for you to pause perhaps to think about uh, a specific situation okay i don't know why there was a smell of kind of shampoo or something in the air i don't know but nothing is happening here that's very weird i don't know if this is related to you or something interesting there was a difference a smell here okay um yeah it's because it, there are many emotions here and now it's time for you to pause to pause and and see what what is now what is precious for you what do you want to maintain and are you connecting uh are you able to connect with this person in such a deep way as we talked about before because if you're not it's time now to reach out to other people it's time to find now this other person this other friend that you can talk about about even these problems that you are going through okay let's see more message for my d group number three Okay, so yeah, getting out there of some stuck stuck energy, getting out of some, but probably interesting. So here it can be that hmm, there is there is an energy of. Uh, Something wanting to come into your life. And because something is draining your energy. Okay. Something is draining your, en draining your energy and leaving you uh, depressed. And you need to talk about this. You need to find someone here that you can talk with. Okay, these kindred spirits that are going to be uh, feeling, that are going to be understanding you. Stars are aligned for you to, for this to happen. Maybe you feel, if you're feeling consumed by work or by something. And you're kind of avoiding thinking about this problem. Of a relationship here okay and that is problematic that is that is the thing that that's why you need life is telling you maybe you cannot share in a deep level anymore with this person uh, maybe you need to have a conversation even with this person or if you did maybe it's time now to find find your kindred spirits okay <clears throat> I believe it's up to you. This is up to you. It's like cards are telling you it's in your hands to do this. It's in your hands to change your destiny because transformation is being you. You are feeling it. 
you are feeling that you need some transformation here. And the cards are telling you it's in your hands. See if you can really do this with this person that you are sharing something here. It's going to be a relationship where two people are not in the same vibration anymore. There is prosperity, abundance wanting to come into your life. But there is a need of a decision here. You deciding to, uh, you know, to, to give this energy of creation, to create something new in your life. To create something, to bring something new towards you. I saw a card. Yeah, this is happiness wanting to come. Instead of this depression that you are in at the moment, abundance wants to come towards you. This is complete happiness. Instead of being like this, drifting and feeling sad, this wish fulfillment and happiness and being joyful is wanting to come towards you. Okay? So the thing is that everything is aligning for you to find this person or these people that are going to feel like home to you. Uh, and it's time to pause. Maybe it's even time to pause a connection. Or it's time to pause for you to talk with this person about the values of a connection or to look at them and, uh, and talk with each other and um, see how you are in this connection and perhaps uh, exposing or telling, not exposing, um, how do you say this? Telling the other person how you are feeling, how you are feeling that you are feeling that you're being somehow that you're not connecting in a deep level anymore, that you kind of, your backs are, are you know, um, facing each other. I don't know how do you say this in English, but it's like this. You're giving backs to each other, okay? So instead of connecting, there is something here, there is something that is not working. And cards are telling there is great happiness here for you. It's in your hands, but you need to decide to get out of this. You need to decide to do something here. It's really in your hands and you have or it is a conversation that you need to, to have with this other people person uh, about your values, what you value in a relationship, what you want to maintain. And that will be your pause moment with this person to talk about this or you really need to pause something here to connect with uh, something that is already aligned for you in the cosmos that is going to help you with this situation and it's going to be feeling like home wow this is these are huge cards you have a lot waiting for you a lot i don't know what you're doing <laughs> i'm sorry to tell you but this this is like great cards this is great and this is happiness waiting for you abundance everything okay this is your wishes becoming true so you just need some actions because these kindred spirits are waiting for you okay my dears i'm going to finish here your reading i hope you enjoyed it let me know in the comments if this resonated it really helps my channel as you know and i do appreciate it and press like subscribe if we are you are new here we're going to see each other next time bye